What's up guys? Uh, so we're going to be catching up and talk about her personal experiences on the field as a data scientist and try to get her to answer some of the questions I personally get as an explorer alumni and a data scientist. And that is me right there. Please do not be alarmed by the gathering of large numbers. Uh, this picture was taken at the AWS summit in 2018. You know, uh, working from home being mandatory. What, what kind of series are you binging on right now? No, ah, nothing. Cause I finished everything that I wanted to watch. So, uh, yeah, I'm watching nothing. Cool. That that makes sense. Uh, so how how did you get into data science? So I got into data science. Uh, through so I just did a one year program with the Explore Data Science Academy, and then I then applied for jobs. So I applied for jobs in the wide spectrum of data. So from like. BI jobs to data analytics and data science. And then I got a job at a company that, consulting company that, that, that did a BI. Got into there, there was a team that was looking into doing predictive analytics. So I joined that team. Yeah, as I've mentioned in the uh, intro, uh, we both went to explore data science academy. So yeah, next question. In, in your own terms, uh, you know, um, so data science is, it's, it's very complex in it that it's different from company to company and from industry to industry. So in your own terms, what, what is data science? So data science for me, it's uh, a discipline that focuses on helping different fields answer questions using data and in the field to answer the questions we can use a variety of techniques uh, from spatial analytics to statistical some statistical methods traditional statistical methods to advanced methods and predictive modeling uh, and also involved in the field as well is to productionize the delivery of um, the insights so building systems and processes to sort of like deliver that those insights on a regular basis to the business another thing is communicating those useful insights so Data science is a nice sport field for me. So you are a geology graduate. Surely you can build uh, systems there. Why specifically data science? Why data science? So I just want to spread my wings. I was tired of just doing sort of like being boxed within like natural sciences because of what I studied. Um, I just want to spread my wings and do, do a bit of like data analytics within business and data science offered me that way in. Um, we using scientific approaches that uh, and methods that we would traditionally use in a wide range of scientific fields, but now the cherry on top is that I'm answering business questions and I'm involved in sort of like designing the process that is used to deliver that information to the business. So whether it's a dashboard, a simple like dashboard or like a report or an application, there's a potential for a data scientist to work on something like that. So I am excited about that potential and that's why I got into the field. I'm excited about business. When you talk about bottom lines, finances, when you talk about people, how uh, thing, yeah, consumers are reacting to certain things, how consumers are behaving, how people are behaving, that's what I like. And data science offers me the opportunity to sort of like move into industries that talk about those things. So I can go into marketing, uh, insurance, finance, telecommunications, whatever it is, there's a data scientist and I like that.
The next question is sort of controversial on the internet. Uh, people inside data science, they say that it does not really matter which, uh, which programming language you learn, right? And people outside data science, they, they want to know before they get into data science, like, hey, I'm interested in, in getting into data science, which programming language should I know? And I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm like neutral on the subject of, you know, other programming languages versus Python. Uh, so yeah, here goes the controversial question. Uh, which programming language do you use a lot, Python or R? So I use Python, if those were the two options. But on a regular basis, I am in SQL. Do you use Jupyter? Do you use Spyder? Do you use Atom? Hmm, Jupyter. I use Jupyter Notebook a lot, of course, um, depending on sort of like what processes I'm using. Uh, but Jupyter is definitely the thing that I use. All right, I, I also use Jupyter quite often. Uh, the dashboard tool that you use between, um, you know, this, this Data Studio, this, uh, this Power BI, this W, which one do you use? I use Python. No, sorry. <clears throat> the dashboarding tool that I use is Power BI. So before you got into the field of data science, I mean, what was the perception that you had and does that perception still hold now that you're inside? Uh, so the one perception that I had is that data scientists are like your business gurus. Like they know shit about business. So yeah, and they know business and they are well versed and they've got a good business acronym kind of thing and it still holds uh yes uh you have to have a good grasp of what's happening in business to, in order to do your job and think and also ask the right questions for you to be able to actually do your job uh productively and effectively and to be able to answer the right questions is to actually have a good grasp of of the of business and also the specific business unit or people that you're serving and understanding what is happening uh so yeah that's a perception that i had and i think it still holds but i don't think uh, a data scientist is better than an ops uh, operations like a operations manager in a business in terms of their business acronym they probably like yeah the operations manager works on day to day, but the data scientist depends a lot on the operations manager to clarify some concepts and ideas. But yeah. What would you change about uh, the field of data science? Mm, the one thing that I would change is the perception of data science and what it can do and what data sciences are. Uh, because a lot of people treat data scientists as, yeah, as like ordinary machine learning engineers and machine learning engineering is just one part of it. We don't just build models, we also uh, sort of like provide insights and our task is to be able to write, answer the right question, ask the right questions in order to deliver the right answer for the business and what they need. And just a bit of context, um, which industry are you currently working on as a data scientist? So I'm currently working in the insurance industry. Right, so a, a, a lot of people, when you know they, they get into an industry, that industry uh, tends to like, you know, morph their views and, and their personalities. So how would you say that data science has changed your views, if it did change your views or your life in any aspect? I don't think data science has changed me much, but I will have to say it's that it's changed my views on what is possible. And it's changed the way I make decisions because I utilize information a lot more to make my decisions um, on websites uh, and also it's, yeah, 
that's it right and then the next question is i think the question that you would get uh as a data scientist uh this is the question that i get almost um every time somebody who's interested in the field of data science and they interact with me they ask me this question how often do you build machine learning models not a lot day to day is i'm in sql machine learning models once in a while i'm currently building machine learning models and i've just been given a task to build uh to continue on on a on a project that someone has left uh someone has left the company so i'm continuing on that project and i'm also building a model but um i would say when i started was zero now uh this year i started when i started at this company it was zero now it's a probably like a 10 percent of my job uh but yeah i should probably push it to 90 and then move back the other way to zero but yeah it's it's not like a continuous thing that you're okay you're building machine learning models all the time it depends on the need and there's a need right now and we're building models awesome so uh this this one the the next following question you would have to uh you know it, it comes with the experience I, I believe that everybody has got that that one lesson that um that was the hardest they learned on the job so what was the hardest lesson that you learned uh as a data scientist on the job Uh, I think the hardest lesson that I've learned on the job is that it's okay to be a specialist in a specific tool. So I came in with the perception that, ah, oh, cool. Like as a data scientist, you need to like know how to use all the different tools and stuff. Uh, like you can move from Google Cloud Platform to Azure to uh, our OSs to aws but uh because of the frequency of use uh of these different platforms you don't use them regularly at my job and i won't be a specialist at any of them i can never get myself through the through these different platforms but i will never be a specialist in it and it's fundamentally okay to be a specialist and one to be like extremely good at gcp and not know anything about azure um I was so focused on my idea was that being too agnostic, being, being able to be called like a jack of all trades, but it's okay to be a specialist. It doesn't really, it doesn't really hurt you. Uh, but yeah. And you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of hype on, on the news, on the internet about data science. So it, it tends to give people certain preconceived notions about data scientists. So what would you say? is a misconception that people have about your job the misconception that people have my job is that i build machine learning models i don't i do it once in a while that's it i don't work every day on it every day uh and do fancy gloves and stuff i don't half the time it's requirements gathering and finding the data that aligns with the requirements in the data sets kind of thing querying data so yeah and that's the biggest misconception is that data scientists are just machine learning engineers i mean not that's just one component of it uh there's a lot and there's a lot to learn and you know um data science has become very popular as a career choice uh in recent years and obviously when when there's more people flocking into a particular you know field or industry you know there, there has to be something that sets you from the rest of the pack in order to like you know raise your hand and say like hey notice me I'm, I'm good at my job uh what would you say is that extra thing that you had to bring to the industry that you know is, is not talked about that often oh that extra thing i mean i think it's confidence bro just be confident that you can do that <laughs> um uh there's nothing my, like your confidence will enable you to learn and to get the job done uh like any other job like just that's all like be confident in your ability to do it and to answer questions and like just be confident in yourself like 
there's nothing more i think like yeah i think this one would be uh the last question um so yeah this uh i feel like this should be the first question but it is the last it's the last question for a purpose um now you're in the industry and then you have all the experience like you you went to explore the science academy and then you learned uh, what you learned there you took away the experiences that you took away there and you know you you went from consultancy to a, a data science job in in the insurance industry right if you had to start from the beginning to learn to learn data science um knowing what you know right now where would you start and why i will start with probably doing um econom econometrics <laughs> economet oh sorry Ecos and mathematics or computer science and math like with a start at the beginning with a bat with a bachelor's degree in mathematics or statistics or computer science that's where i would start um not saying that i'm at a total disadvantage but i think those fundamentals would have helped me a lot better on my day to, on my job on a day-to-day -day basis I wouldn't freak out if I was like, oh, I've never seen a special equation before. Because uh, that's what happens sometimes. But yeah, I think it would have helped me a lot just to get into the field faster, I guess. Uh, but that's why I'll start. Okay, guys, enough enough grilling of my uh, unwitting guest. I want to thank Kosi for taking part in this video. Uh, basically, the purpose of this channel was for me to build um, a, a YouTube channel with uh, content that I sort of wanted to to have when I was at, at Explore Data Science Academy. Like, you know, you have you have all kinds of data science channels there, but you don't actually have the one that are relevant to, to like, OK, me as an Explore student, I'm going into the industry next year. What to expect, you know, those kind of things. So that's why I wanted to build uh, this channel to like take my own experiences, put them in this channel. But then I had a greater idea that, hey, why not expand the circle, right? I have a lot of friends that I went to explore data science academy with. I can just sort of reach out to them and then if they're interested in doing it. And then Kosi was the brave one and she, you know, she heeded the call and then she came through. So I just want to thank her. And I hope this um, content added value to you. If it did add value, Please don't forget to um, press the like button until it turns blue, just to help out with the YouTube algos. Um, 